Hi Libra, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the time period of August 29th to September 4th, 2023. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Libra, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's go. Let's see your energy, spirit, angels, and guides. Please show me the energy of Libra in regards to love for this time period, August 29th to September 4th, 2023. What is the energy of Libra in regards to love? <clears throat> Libra, Libra. Here we go. Energy of Libra in regards to love. First card we have for you. All right, the Seven of Pentacles. You're working hard on something. Okay, tell me more. The energy of Libra. The Empress card. Well, you're working hard on yourself. Hmm. It does look like you have some sort of goal, some sort of objective here that you're working towards. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me more. What's the energy of Libra in regards to love for this time period? Six of Swords. That's good. Two of Pentacles. The Chariot card, the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, the King of Wands. Who's the King of Wands? Six of Swords, Ten of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Chariot. Interesting. So it does look like you're walking away from a bad situation. Six of Swords to the Ten of Swords. Um, something that caused you grief or disappointment, heartbreak. It does look like you're um, you're walking away from it. You're removing yourself from that energy, or at least you're thinking about it with the Two of Pentacles. But it does look like something already ended, or there was some sort of separation here between you and someone. Oh, the chariot card. Yeah, the chariot card um, kind of reminds me of the two of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chariot card kind of reminds me of that because of the black cat and the white cat um, at the bottom of the card. So it's all about making, making a decision whether to move on or to stay stuck in the past, basically. All right, we'll find, we'll figure that out. Who's this King of Wands? King of Wands to the Six of Wands to the Judgment card to the Seven of Cups. And here you are, Queen of Swords to the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles to the Five of Cups. Okay. So it kind of looks like you and this person weren't on the same page with each other. Um, your values weren't matching up. Um, what you wanted looks like wasn't what they wanted. You two were disagreeing on something here. Yeah, there, there was a disagreement here, Three of Pentacles. It kind of looks like you two weren't able to get on the same page with each other and stop the slight. Because you two weren't able to get on the same page with each other, it looks like there was some sort of separation here. Oh, 
I like how you, it looks like you always maintained your independence though. Look at that, Queen of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. You always um, stayed strong in your independence. Yeah, and it also looks like you, um, you stayed strong in your standards, in your values and in your standards in your independence. I mean, it, it, it does look like you were willing to negotiate with the Three of Pentacles, like you were willing to cooperate and negotiate, but not at the compromise, not, the, not at the expense of, of, of you lowering your standards. Or like you going against your own self. I wonder what that means. I want to clarify that. Let me use another deck here. Let me see if I can figure out what that means here. Tell me about the Queen of Swords to the Nine of Pentacles. And Libra's energy. Yeah, it's like you had... um. It feels like you, you're very clear on how far you're willing to go for, for someone. Like you're willing to compromise, but there is, there is a limit to how much you're willing to compromise. You're not going to um, sabotage your own self, basically. You're not willing to sabotage your own self. Tell me about the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles in Libra's energy. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. Bravo. Nine of Cups to the Nine of Pentacles. This is basically emotional um, independence. Very nice. Bravo. You definitely stood up to this King of Wands person, male or female. Yeah, it's kind of like you you told this person, you're not going to push me around or you're not going to manipulate me, you know? I'm I'm smarter than that. Cause it kind of looks like this person wanted to um like sell you something for a more expensive price and you didn't fall for it okay let me see this person tell me about the king of wands to the six of wands oh you, it's like you weren't impressed yeah that's what it is <laughs> you weren't impressed this person was trying to impress you they they might have been kind of showing off or like that's their personality, they're kind of a show off. Like, look at me, like, you know, look how confident I am. When in reality, they're just kind of, they're not that confident, they're just showing off. <laughs> but it looks like you, um, you're not impressed. The Emperor, I see. Yeah, definitely a, a show off. Anything else about this King of Wands, Six of Wands energy? And this person's energy. Three of Wands. Okay. Yeah, this person was definitely trying to like, um, what do you call that? Like pull the wool over your eyes or they were trying to sell you something that was fake, you know, something that's fake or something that or something more ex more expensive than it really is. Mm -hmm. Almost like they were proposing something 
that didn't make sense, right? Because you're the queen of swords. So I feel like that doesn't make sense. I feel like that's what you're saying to them. That doesn't make sense. Why would I do that? You know? I feel like that's what you said to them or like that's what you were thinking. Tell me about the judgment card and the seven of cups. Like, why would I do that? That doesn't make sense. So it's like you, you see right through them, basically. What's the judgment to the Seven of Cups? Judgment again, twice. And the Knight of Cups. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person definitely came towards you or is going to come towards you um, with some sort of proposal here. But you're going to definitely have um, questions about it. Hmm. Tell me about the Six of Swords connected to Libra's energy. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. All right. Tell me about the Empress and Libra's energy. Seven of Cups. Okay. Yeah, you feel like something's off with this person. You don't really trust them. Seven of Pentacles and Libra. Seven of Pentacles twice. Two of Pentacles and Libra's energy. Hermit card. Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles and the Hermit card. Four of Swords. Wow, you're thinking deeply about this. Tell me about the chariot card in Libra's energy. The Hierophon and the Ten of Swords, the Six of Cups. Yeah, you feel like someone is bad news. You feel like someone is shady or someone's not trustworthy. Um, you might feel like someone's trying to make you compromise on your values, on your belief system. Uh, they're trying to convince you to, yeah, you know, to go against yourself and what you believe in and what's true to you. Tell me more about the chariot card. But you're definitely, you're definitely rising up to the challenge here. Um, it does look like you are defending yourself. Knight of Pentacles. It does feel like you're defending yourself and it feels like you are you're kind of putting this person in the in the spotlight because whatever they're telling you or whatever they're proposing you feel like there's something not right about it or like there's something that there's something that you don't agree with you feel like they're they're playing games with you. How do you how does Libra view this person? I'm trying to figure out how you see them. Where's the deck? How does Libra view this person? What's Libra's opinion? What is what is Libra's opinion of this person or perception or view? Ooh, the Ten of Cups, okay? And the Knight of Wands. Yeah. You, you, I definitely think that you, um, you feel like this person doesn't make sense. You might feel like what they're telling you is too good to be true. Or you might feel like this person is like um, trying to put rose-colored glasses on your face. They're trying to put rose-colored glasses on your face. All right, let's go to the person that you're dealing with so I can see the full picture here, get the full story. Let me organize this here. Let's see over here. Okay. I want to see all the cards. I'm just making them visible. All right, Spirit, show me this person, please. 
whoever it is that Libra is connecting to and dealing with in love. What is this person's energy towards Libra for this time period, August 29th to September 4th, 2023? Whoever it is that Libra is connecting to and dealing with in love, show me this person's energy towards Libra, please. Yeah, some of you, for some of you, this person makes this person makes you feel confused. Empress and the Seven of Cups. You might feel like this person leaves you with more questions than answers. Um, yeah, tell me about this person's energy towards Libra. Ooh, the Knight of Wands showed up again. I just saw it right now. All right, thank you, Spirit. In regards to their energy towards you, Nine of Pentacles. Wow. What? The Ten of Cups, again. The Four of Wands, the Temperance card. Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Fool. Page of Pentacles. I told you they're proposing something. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. And there's the Empress. There you are with the Queen of Cups and the Hangman. Okay, Libra, you, you have questions. All right. Well, let me try my best here. I definitely have questions. Okay. Let me see what I can do. Queen of Pentacles, Empress, Queen of Cups, and the Hangman. Well, you're, you're definitely serious about this person or like you're looking for something serious. You, you definitely don't have time for games. Are you a boss? You kind of look like a boss. Or like you have you have this boss energy to you. Hmm. All right, but in their energy towards you, they're showing up as the Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Fool, and Page of Pentacles. So this is what's on the line here. This is what's on the line. Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands is on the line. This is a committed relationship, a long-term relationship, long-term commitment, happily ever after, all of that good stuff. It's, ling it's, it's in the air, it's hanging in the air. It's hanging in the air, but it, it's, not, it's not coming down to, to the ground, like it's not cementing itself, it's not materializing, it's not manifesting. It's just hanging in the air. And we it does look like we have two single people because this showing up this person's showing up as single and you're also showing up as single. Or at least that's how you're viewing yourselves as single. Yeah, they are showing up as single, though, because they also have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is single energy. Also the Fool. Okay, so this person is available for a relationship. But it does look... Oh, this might be what's what has you a little bit iffy. This person is very, very slow. They're very, very slow. They're very, very slow. And it does look like this person is just kind of, you know, taking their time here with the temperance card, almost like they're dragging things out. Let's figure that out. Let's clarify. Tell me about this. Um... Yeah, you see, it's they're proposing something, but look at how casual it is with the full card, full and page of pentacles. Very casual. Let's see what they're proposing. Tell me about the Fool and the Page of Pentacles in their energy. The Fool and the Page of Pentacles. They're definitely trying to be smart and, and strategic with you. 
they're not telling you everything. They're keeping a lot to themselves. They're being very mysterious. Tell me about the Fool and Page of Pentacles and their energy Eight of Pentacles. Oh, they're, they're busy. They're telling you that they're busy or... They're busy, okay. They have a lot of... Are those excuses though, or what? Tell me about the Fool and the Page of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's excuses here. They are making excuses. Anything else about the Fool and the Page of Pentacles in their energy? Oh, the Five of Cups. Ah, okay. All right, they're giving you excuses. I got it. Yeah, they're feeding you a lot of excuses. They're also feeding you a lot of breadcrumbs. Like, um, I'm not really ready for a relationship, but I really like you and I really want to be with you or, you know, I want to have something special with you or I feel like you're special. I feel like, you know, there's potential, but, you know, um, I have this going on and I have that going on and, you know, I'm, I'm in a tough position right now or this is like a bad time for me, something like that. Yeah, tell me about the uh, Knight of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles and their energy spirit, their energy towards Libra. Knight of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. What's that? Knight of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles and their energy towards Libra. Six of Pentacles. You're dealing with an earth sign. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Tell me more about the um, Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. All the Pentacles. And the Page of Cups. You see this? Look at that. Look at the way it went down. Look at that, Six of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles. You see how it reduced? It went down, it's not the other, it's not up, it's down. It's not four to six, it's six to four. It's, it's six to four, so. Yeah, it, it even reduces even more because we have an eight here. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Eight to six to four. So it kind of looks like the more time passes by, the, the less they give you. The, the less they give you, the more excuses they give you. Yeah, and we have the Page of Cups. So they are entertaining you. This is, it's what it, that's what it looks like. It looks like someone who's entertaining you. They're entertaining you. They're breadcrumbing you. What is this energy um, connected to Libra spirit? The Queen of Pentacles, Empress, Queen of Cups, and the Hangman. Specifically the Hangman here. Tell me about this energy connected to Libra. The Strength card. Libra, you might, you might not know if, it, if you should keep holding on to this or not. You might be feeling like, you know, this person's wasting your time. They're making you wait for nothing because it does look like they're making you wait, you know? It looks like they're making you wait, but they're not really, um, they're not giving you any type of reassurance, you know, about anything. They're not giving, giving you any true clarity. Any, they're not making any decisions. They're not giving you any real answers, you know? And I feel like you're starting to question if, you know, you're waiting for nothing. Tell me more about the hangman energy here connected to Libra, to the Queen of Cups, Empress, and Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, Judgment, Page of Swords. 
Mm -hmm. You see, you want something serious with the Ten of Pentacles, but they never got the Ten of Pentacles. You see, they, they, they have the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight, the Six, the Four, but they don't have the Ten. That they don't have. So some of you are starting to wonder if this person is ever going to commit to you or not. And I feel like they're not giving you answers. I feel like they're leave, leaving you guessing, you know? But I feel like they're entertaining you or breadcrumbing you, you know, just to, to keep you around. But there's nothing here, you know? There's nothing here. There's something about this person holding back here with the Four of Pentacles. And again, there's also something about them giving you a lot of excuses. I do feel like this person is embracing being single. I feel like they're kind of attached to being single. It also looks like this person is carrying some emotional baggage from the past, okay? All right, Libra, so I'm going to continue now in the extended reading, and I am going to take a deeper look at this person. I'm going to take a look at what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, what are their true and real intentions with you, and what actions will they be taking towards you moving forward into the future. If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.